iPhone. iPhone. Those are scenes from an hour of downpour in Accra on Friday, April 8. Properties were being washed away while people had to seek shelter at safe havens to prevent any death and casualties as the Russian water swept through the communities. This situation has been a perennial challenge yet to be remedied. Every year, once the rains set in, government spends huge sums of money on dredging and desilting major drains to allow for the free flow of water whenever there's a downpour. However, the drains that run through the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, Abusokai and to the Kole Lagoon is always inundated with filth blocking the channel for water to flow. Authorities have in this regard attributed the situation to human activities like indiscriminate dumping of rubbish into drains. This video that was recorded on Friday during the downpour at the Salaga market corroborates the act. But how can such acts be checked to curb the perennial flooding? The municipal chief executive for Kuala Klote municipality says his assembly will arrest and prosecute persons who engage in the illegal act. Taking people to court to be summoned to court and then probably being uh, fined, etc. Sometimes in the end, the assembly uh, is not able to continue to do that because of the court's implications. So often time now, what we are having to do is to get them to do some work. If you, you put uh, garbage in the drains, then we will get you to desilt or clean the drains. And uh, not that many people will want to do it for the second time. But looking at some of these things, for example, getting them being so that they pay it off. But with so many other things that we've tried, uh, with the markets, etc., when it comes to the payment, uh, they, they are not forthcoming. So, uh, but that is one, uh, one thing that we are having to consider. He further says that more dredging and desilting works will be done in preparedness for the rings. Some desilting and it's now become a normal thing for us to do at this time. We are going to do another set of, uh, we are going through procurement processes and by the second week of April, uh, there will be another set of decisions to be done in those particular areas that we have uh, uh, these problems. And I believe uh, it will make, create more space so that when it rains, for example, the water will flow more easily. But if uh, we keep on dropping uh, the garbage, when it, especially when it starts raining, people just get up from their houses, and then uh, it's still a problem. And we have to make sure the law works and uh, we are serious about it. With the current uh, uh, mindset of our staff uh, being uh, coordinated by the regional coordinating council at every assembly working together uh, do, we start seeing some difference from this year meanwhile the national disaster management organization is also engaging residents in lowlands to find safe havens as the rains set in we've been able to help identify places we call safe havens uh, in in areas like that so that when the rains set in these people can move to such places it may be a church building it may be a school building a park wherever which is higher than where they are then they, they seek uh, shelter there before when the rains it stops, you know, they get back to put their acts together. So, yes, we, we, we are having a temporal measure to help them uh, until we get a permanent solution, which permanent solution may be relocating uh, all of them from the Sahara Enclave. I am Kweku Ediyama Ansa reporting for City News.